hey y'all hey y'all hey it's reese y'all already know welcome back for what a quick little video so with that being said we are going to go ahead and jump into this video as always yeah we're gonna get into it how y'all doing how y'all feeling comment down below what it is so y'all um i watched live last night go live okay and when i tell y'all this was the most disgusting live that i've actually seen her do because Liv is what you call a pre-Madonna, okay? So when I tell y'all the shit was actually ridiculous, it was ridiculous. The whole time she sat in front of her computer and ordered clothes to do sponsorships on, okay? And basically what Olivia did was she ignored the shit out of her subscribers. Liv acted as if y'all were not even there. Yeah. Now, me as a reactor, the only thing I am doing is coming in, looking at what's happening so I can react to it. But after a while, I left out. I wasn't even like, who the fuck do you like? Like, who the fuck do you think you actually are? Like, I mean, like, seriously. Seriously. All right. I can see if you were some real, real, real boss bitch and you sitting there doing that and the people don't even care. Because they love you and they know what the boss bitch that you are. Okay? But you're not. You're clearly not. Okay? Not. No, no, no under any circumstances. No. So anyway, so she sat there. She, you know, played different music. I mean, she had those dumbass filters on her face. I think they childish as shit. Okay? They childish. All right. So she sat there, you know, when um, she kept saying she was ordering this, she was going to order that, she was looking for something that she looked at the other day that was really, really cute. I mean, back and forth, back and forth. The people in the comments, which is her trolls, you get me, were basically looking at Mama Stella's daughter. Yes, yes, yes. And they were saying, Liv, Liv is unbothered. She's not paying you any mind. Bitch, Liv is unbothered. And she's not paying you any mind. And most likely, the ones that are saying something, you are the ones who is giving uh, 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 Stella, the, Stella with the Boots daughter that $20 a month. Okay? And she on here whoring the shit out of y'all acting like y'all ain't even there acting like the chat is fucking invisible that's how she treated y'all she treated y'all like bitches and that's a nice way to put it yeah that's exactly the way she treated y'all what y'all should have did was clicked off all of y'all should have clicked the fuck off and i bet you y'all keep doing that shit olivia will stop the bullshit that she does because i'm gonna tell you this right here Olivia is boring as shit. The only time Olivia is not boring is when she has some type of dumbass drama on her channel and then she comes over here drunk, humping tables, smoking cigarette after cigarette, crying, looking out windows because she fucking paranoid, silencing herself real quick because she thinks somebody knocking on the door. I mean, all types of shit. You get me? Braiding her hair in the fucking bathroom Daughter's busting in the damn bathroom. They had not braided worth shit or done. Like, it's 2021. You should have left all that shit back in 2020 and do what you need to do for your daughters in her hair. That shit is fucking ridiculous. But better yet, you always on this fucking camera and you always dying the fuck out of your hair. To be honest, it looks like you dye that shit every two weeks. We see. And the reason why you have to dye it every two weeks is because you need to go and get that shit done professionally. Okay? Now, the other thing that got me, and I'm going to go back to that or whatever, is the fact that you get onto this camera. And you did a Salvation Army haul. Now, y'all that know me, y'all already know what I do. How I get down. And one day soon, I am going to take you to my entire inventory, okay? But what gets me is the simple fact that when Reese was doing it, 
it was a whole big thing. Like, oh my God, she gets all her clothes from the thrift store. Oh, this, oh, that. And it's kind of like this. If I do, y'all see me on this camera daily. I have great taste. I know what the fuck it put on. I can dress you 25 times, okay? Because the shit that you do, I don't even know. You was over there picking out shit. <laughs> In the comments, people was like, your clothes are too too tight. Um, can you please get the right size? Um, what size do you actually wear? <laughs> Look, Olivia got mad. Olivia was like, yup, and it's going to be some more tight clothes or whatever. So, yup, you don't have to watch it. <laughs> but, Olivia, I'm going to tell you some real shit, baby. Them clothes are way too tight. Them clothes do not give you any type of accent at all. They are way too tight, and they are extremely ugly. You did a... um. You know what? I'll do that separately. I'll do that separately. But anyway, yeah, so I mean, they looking, you know what I'm saying? And then you got some dumbass girl. And Liv, it's Liv channel. You should live even seen it. You would think that it's her channel and she may take it a little bit seriously. But the girl was talking about that she's being held against her will in the um comments and that she's being raped. <sighs> Liv looked at the shit right. <laughs> this shit was funny Liv looked at this shit and was like <sighs> anyway and then just kept on you know picking out them tight ass clothes that she get ready to put on yes Liv clothes be tight as shit I'm trying to tell you they be tight tight you can see lungs everything and Liv got a stomach and every you can see all that shit because they be so goddamn tight okay but we're going to we do another video about that anyway. So anyway, you know, so she's sitting up there. She's not saying anything, you know, to anybody. She's actually looking like she is high as a fucking kite. People in the comments were saying, damn, she look high as a kite. I mean, y'all, when I tell y'all this was mo the most... I don't even know why she did even come on. Like, why did you come on? Then, what was funny as shit, <laughs> and I'm going to see if I can find a uh, screenshot and put it in here, was when Misha came in, right? Misha came in, long story short, Misha want her fucking bag back. That's what Misha want, okay? Miss Big Baller over there, why don't you send Misha her pocketbook bag? Miss Baller over there, Carol. Carol, I thought you told me, Carol, that you was going to send Olivia a real Louis bag so she could send that one back to Misha. Oh, wait a minute. Hold up, hold up. Carol, are you going to send Misha the bag instead? I, I don't know, Carol, but Carol, I am putting you out to go ahead and do that because I know that you are Olivia's walking, talking bank. Okay, so Olivia should not be coming in on here doing no cash app parties or none of that. Okay, Carol, because you are Olivia's bank. All right. Now, Carol, I might go live later on this weekend. If you feel the need, Carol, to come into my comments and drop me some money. <laughs> Carol, I don't feel no type of way about it. I will give you the respect that you need and say thank you. You get what I'm saying? I mean, I would, Carol. I might even think about giving you moderated skills. I might think about it. I don't know, Carol, because I don't know the way you flow quite yet, but I just might. Now, if you drop the drop in the chat, Carol, and give me $100, you got it. I ain't going to be able to do it. I'm going to have to give you moderating skills. I'm going to have to give you that wrench. It is what it is, Carl. It is what it is. So, Carl, hopefully you, you hear this and you, you think about it. Okay? Think about it for me. All right. So, anyway, you're supposed to be this actual boss bitch, Olivia. And you are running around here acting like a complete chicken head. Complete chicken head. I don't understand. Why wouldn't you want to give that girl her bag back? I don't understand that. Why wouldn't you want to? Why would you want to carry her bag around as if it was yours? 
But yet, you are that bad bitch. As in last night when you were listening to the music that you were playing, you kept playing one song over and over and over because you felt as though that song was about you. Girl, taking a drink, the things that it can make you think. <laughs> nobody else I can talk on me <laughs> y'all really think that I am in the same position <laughs> as these people that I do videos on okay let me tell y'all let me tell y'all it has been said that I was on drugs and all types of shit I was on drugs I was on crack I, I mean all types of stuff or whatever <laughs> Woo! You get me? I even had someone send me a screenshot where somebody said <laughs> that I live in a halfway house and that this is the only room that I film in or I live in a house but this is the only room that I have put together. <laughs> or what they do is they say, oh, every time we see the same sheet, she don't even change her bed. <laughs> When I tell y'all, y'all, it be some funny shit. Sometimes that I be getting from people sending me screenshots. What else have I got? Oh, she's never been married to a um, uh, Middle Eastern man. I got that too. I'm like, these people are fucking stupid. <laughs> what else have I got? Um, Cheryl had no money. You, Reese can't even dress. <laughs> Now, here go the shit with that, y'all. Here go the shit. I'm going to give you where credit is due, okay? If a bitch can come up on here and she can dress, I'm going to let you know, okay? And it is a lot. It is a rack of bitches on YouTube that I'm telling you hands down. They can dress their ass the fuck off. Yeah. All right. And one of those bitches is me. <laughs> And y'all know it. Y'all don't want to own up to it. <laughs> Woo! Y'all trip me out. But yeah, they are in the same thing as the mommy. You know, the mommies are in. What? What? Do you really think you get me that my room is put together the way that it is? The way that I come on this camera, my house not going to be put together. I'm not going to be in a nice car. Do you really think that? <laughs> If you do, you stupid as fuck. <laughs> you real stupid. Real, I mean, when I tell you you stupid, oh, you stupid. I mean, real, real, real stupid. I mean, y'all, if I get so much shit without half the time, I... Y'all, I even got a screenshot where somebody said they seen my kids and they were ugly. <laughs> Let me tell you something real, real quick. Ain't nobody in my house ugly. And on top of that, they have one modeling contracts. Yeah. When they were babies. Yeah. Okay. So that shows you how ugly that is. <laughs> but y'all go ahead and slide on up off of here. I, you know, I said, let me give my people something to laugh at or whatever because... These people that be trolling, they act, I mean, they think that you are going to go somewhere and cry. Okay, I'm not going to go nowhere and cry. I'm going to keep making my videos because I already know what I got behind this fucking camera. And they wish that they had what I got behind this camera. It is what it is. It is what it is. I've learned it's never, I have never, ever been jealous of anyone. If you want something that someone has, if you want to look the way someone dresses or whatever, you can go and work at it and do that. Don't try to hate on it, okay? Now, see, the thing about me is I'm going to put you out with the bullshit that you did. But when it is something good or it, I mean, I'm going to let you know, like, oh, you seen such and such? Yeah, that was a nice ass car. Nice ass outfit she got on, yeah. Mm -hmm. I think um, some, I went and I seen 
a video where Ming had got the um got a Tesla. Okay. The one that she got, let me tell you, it is not cheap at all. My father has one. Okay. He has one as a second car. Like I've told you guys, we love cars, clothes, houses, just to look beautiful. All, all that stuff combined in one. And it's not easy. You literally have to work hard for everything that you get. And when I tell y'all, y'all might think that I come on here. Y'all might think this about me. Y'all might think that about me. But y'all, behind this camera, in my everyday life, my ADLs, my activities of daily living, I work my ass off. I really work my ass off. The reasoning behind that is because I wanted to make sure that anything I needed to provide for them, they would always have. I will never ever have to ask anybody for anything. That's why. So me being me, I work my ass off. That is why I like to play extremely hard at times. It is what it is. But yeah, so I mean, you know, I was looking, so I, I went over there, I said, oh, Ming, okay, all right, Ming, Ming doing it up, Ming doing it up, you get me, I don't know if it's a lease, I don't know if it's a rental or whatever, you know, and I kindly don't care, you get me, but yeah, they are some nice cars, and they are not cheap, not at all, okay, not at all, not at all. I said, oh, Ming doing a thing. I mean, Ming is definitely doing a thing. What I like about Ming is the fact that Ming, she's a boss. Mm -hmm. Olivia, that's who you need to go take note from. Go take that shit from Ming. All right? Go take, instead of worrying about her fucking nose like y'all do me and shit, you should go over there and ask her how to fuck to be a boss and how to run a business. Because I'm going to give it to her. She doing the shit. She's definitely doing it, okay? You can go ahead, you can hate on the girl if you want to. You can say this, you can say that. But uh, all the surgeries she, she had, so the fuck. What? She is over there walking circles, doing eight-figure skating around Jasmine, Olivia, and Chrissy. Yes, absolutely. Yes, Olivia. She is making you look like a complete fool. Olivia, you are over there ordering clothes off the line to do sponsorships. That's it. And then in your meantime, you just over there selling some of them young, young ass butterfly lashes that you didn't got wholesale from Etsy, from DH Gade, from, um, I mean, all different types of places. Girl, you ain't doing nothing. And then you get the box or whatever. Girl, oh my gosh. So that's what you should be over there looking at. You should ask Ming, Ming, I'm sorry for saying anything about you, but can you help me get a business together, okay? Because as it is over here, Ming, I don't know what to fucking do at all, but yet I am calling myself a boss bitch, okay? The thing that get me is this right here as well, Olivia. Um, You have had that car that you have had for a while, all right? Ming, I want to say, has had two, has had three more car, cars right now. And you are still with that young ass car that you have. You, you still have it. Who is progressing? Who wants to be like you? Who is really the boss? And what makes it so sad is the fact that you have the potential because you have the um, subscriber base behind you to be actually good with selling your lashes, okay? Or another type of product. The problem is, is Olivia, is you really don't have that business mind. You don't have it. If you had that business mind, all the shit that you are going through would not even, you may still be going through it, but your business would not be suffering from that. And what I mean by that, Olivia, is that when you are stressed, when you are depressed, when you are sad, even when you are happy, you 
should be in front of that computer. You should be making that money. One thing you don't do, when you are an entrepreneur and you own your own shit, it don't matter how you feel. You have to do what you have to do. If not, it is going to mess up your whole entire customer base. That's exactly what's going to happen. But, Olivia, maybe one day, you know what I mean, you will get it together. But for now, y'all, I am going to see all of you beautiful people in the next video. Later.